This is the Engines of Our Ingenuity, made possible by the friends of KUHF Houston. Today, the Birch Goose. The University of Houston presents this series about the machines that make our civilization run and the people whose ingenuity created them. I'll bet you didn't know that Howard Hughes' Spruce Goose, once the largest plane ever built, is not made of spruce at all. It's made of birch. So, let's talk about birch. We recently flew into Moscow's Domodedovo Airport. There below us, just outside the runways, lay a vast carpet of birch forest. That great gray-white sea of trees called to mind the birch tree's claim on the Russian subconscious. I spoke long ago at a Cold War think tank in Siberia. My hosts walked me through a mile of trees to get there. They made sure I was as lost as Hansel in the woods. What they did tell me was that those trees, white with black streaks, were berioska, or silver birch. The Russians drink birch juice. They make it into wine or beer. They once used birch bark to make writing paper, shoes, even casts for broken bones. Their word for birch is kin to their word for taking care of. The birch tree was a gift from God. You know the old song of the Volga boatman? Part of it says, Now we fell the stout birch tree. Now we pull hard. One, two, three. I'll provide a link to it and a link to the eerie and graceful Russian birch ensemble's dance in honor of the birch tree. And that's just Russia. Birch forests lie across Finland, Norway, and Sweden, across the eastern United States and up through Canada. They surrounded me when I grew up in Minnesota. Native Americans used the bark to make wigwams, canoes, and every kind of decorative item. The sap makes birch syrup. Birch is a hard wood, good for furniture and plywood, but it has to be well cured or it warps. Hugh's spruce goose was really made from a special plywood, layers of birch veneer. Hughes put teams of women to work ironing the veneer to stabilize it before they made it into plywood. You gaze up at that great gunmetal gray airplane, and it's hard to connect it with birch trees, but it is a true cousin of the Indian canoe, same strength and buoyancy. Most northern countries honor birch trees. It's the Celtic symbol of rebirth and purification, one of the sacred trees of Norway and Sweden. It was important for Nordic settlers of Greenland and Iceland. Greenland's only forests lie at its southern tip, and they're mainly birch. Birch is the only tree native to Iceland. Birch trees had countless uses as folk medicine. WebMD verifies that it's a fine source of vitamin C and a useful diuretic. Hughes got that great birch goose into the sky only once, and then it didn't really fly. Rather, it rode along on a cushion of air just above the water, like a pelican skimming Galveston Harbor with a delicacy caught by James Russell Lowell when he wrote, The Birch Most Shy and Ladylike of Trees. I'm John Leanhardt at the University of Houston, where we're interested in the way inventive minds work. (laughs) ¶¶